my first U.S. Open. It was back when it was at Forest Hills still. And uh, it was on clay, unfortunately. I was so excited to get there and play on grass, and they switched to clay the first year I was oh, wow. to play as an amateur, which was very disappointing to me. I mean, play as a pro. But anyway, we got to the quarterfinals of the doubles, uh, Butch and I, and we're playing uh, Hewitt and McMillan. Now, Hewitt and McMillan had won 50 ATP tournaments. You know, they, they were one of the great, they were the number one team in the world at the time. Ramirez and Godfrey were right there, but it was basically Hewitt and McMillan won, had won everything. And I'm, I'm playing, and, and I'm at the net, I'm standing over here like this, and I look across at, at uh, Fru, and Fru played two hands both sides. He had a little smoker's cap on. He was the coolest guy ever, right? So Butch is serving. Now, Butch, like me, had a big monster. We're serving 125 miles an hour, and these guys are trying to you know, return the ball and keep it away from Butch is 6'4", 185, 190 pounds, just like me. So we're obviously we're coming across big time off the other guy's serve. So I'm looking over at Fru, and I'm looking at him, and Fru is standing about right here, kind of in the middle of the court, kind of facing me. He's just looking right at me like this. He's got his hands here. And I'm standing over here like this, and I look over at Fru, and I look back at Hewitt, and he's going to return the ball, and I look at Fru, and what is he looking at? He's just staring right at me. I swear, I literally went like this to check to see if my zipper was down or something. I had a zipper pants at the time. I looked down and went, what is he looking at? And my dad always told me, he says, you know, you, elders, you they have a lot of information. Don't be afraid to ask them questions. We lost in three sets. It was, it was a good match, but we ended up losing it. And uh, we go in the locker room and I asked Fru, I go, Fru, do you mind if I ask you a question? No, not at all, son, you know? You, they were probably in their late 30s at the time. He seemed like an old man to me. I was probably 23. And uh, I asked him what he was looking at. He goes, well, I'm looking at you. And Butch is serving huge, and you know, Bob's just trying to get the ball back. He goes, you're the most dangerous person on the court. So I'm, I'm watching you. I want to see you move. If I see your hand come out, it tells me where the ball's going. I know exactly what's happening. If I see you reach for a backhand volley, I get to go, I cover, I come, cover the middle. Your, your body movements tell me everything, so I don't need to see the ball or I don't care what Butch is doing. I just care what you're doing, so I'm watching you. And I thought to myself, here, I'm a quarterfinals of the U.S. Open in doubles, and I don't understand that. Until Fru, one of the greatest doubles players of all time, tells me. And, of course, that's how I learned that little tidbit. Locked it in. Locked it in. Hey you guys, did you pick up that last little bit of information? Because if you weren't paying close attention, it may have gone right by you. But what Hank is talking about is more than just watching your opponent. He's talking about that when your opponent at net gets hit a particular ball, it requires a certain response from them. And then you have to respond accordingly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. And I'll see you again in the next one.